Welcome back on the VST channel. I have the Galaxy S23 Ultra on the left and the Galaxy S24 Ultra on the right. And, and thanks God that the S24 Ultra is flat else. You know what I think. It's just basically the same phone with a flatter screen and we're not sure about the zoom cameras. Or if you want to get a bit more certain, then you're more than welcome to watch some of my videos where I'm comparing the zoom camera of the S23 Ultra versus the zoom camera of the S24 Ultra and the King, which is the Vivo X100 Ultra, which I'm also using to shoot this video in 4K, 60 FPS, so that you're able to enjoy all the animation, yes. So, let's start, guys. This is the June update. So, the version on the S23 Ultra is the CXE9. The version here on the S24 Ultra is the AXEC. It is same side, circa 460 megabytes on both phones. The security patch level is from the 1st of June on the S23 Ultra. And, yeah, I know, it's strange. Strangely enough, it is still 1st of May on the S24 Ultra. Now, this is not the camera update. All sources are hinting that this camera update will eventually be released next month in July, but it's important to see if we have any updates. Now here, guys, we see AXEF, so only security, devices protected with improved security, circa the same here, and the release date is also obvious on the 17th of June for the S23 Ultra, and just a few days earlier on the S24 Ultra. So, I have been using this since some days. You can see that I've updated my S24 Ultra a couple of days ago on the 11th of June and yesterday I updated my S23 Ultra. And in this video, as usual, we're gonna cover certain things such as system navigation, the quick setting, I'm gonna show you notifications, the quick settings, I'm also gonna show you some more navigation, accessing the up draw, the recent menu, of course, some Time well spent on animations, opening and closing applications, opening and closing folders, camera animations is very important, these famous lens switch tests, the shutter speed, widgets, the edge panels, I'm going to also be testing the fingerprint, speed and accuracy, and of course show you some Geekbench and 3D Max scores and also temps for the June update. So without any further ado, let's buckle up and if you're here for the first time before we start, please check some of the other videos, you might find something you like. Thank you so much, and now let's start with the system navigation and the quick settings. So first thing I do is always like this. This is the first thing I ever test, and you know, every time I say the same story, there has been years where this animation was not so flawless. But now luckily, from what I can see, works quite nice on the S23 Ultra and also on the S24 Ultra. Let's test this also in this mode. This would be the S24 Ultra. Flawless, not an issue at all. All right, I can just go through all the screens. Let me show the quick settings on the S23 Ultra. Quick settings here, okay. This is scrolling. Pay attention to animations, pay attention to what could be identified as a stutter. And if you see something, please pause the video and let me know where are you able to check this one. From what I see right now on all the phones, not an issue with showing the notifications. So this will be a completed test. Now, let me try to show you also the quick toggles. Okay, this is how it looks like. One more time. Very fluid on the S24 Ultra. Now let's do the same on the S23 Ultra. Again, the fluidity is just incredible. Often I do confuse which device is which, but then thanks to Samsung, the S24 Ultra is flatter, so we kind of know just by touching the screen. So this will be here, the quick settings, if I have to show you around, okay? Not an issue at all. What happens if we press here, smart control, all the same. Okay, this pretty much works as if this is one and the same phone. Device control and going back to the home screen with that nice and blurry animation, absolutely outstanding. Now, let's check what happens with the blur. So I'm just gonna gradually apply it, okay? And you will let me know if you find some discrepancies, okay? How do we test this? The moment I start pulling off here, blur is getting applied and this is blur in real time. The A-series, for example, is not using this real blur. Now, what about the notifications? I'll just go here. By just swiping them, we are actually just clearing them. Press clear here, all right, boom, everything gone. Clear also on the S24 Ultra, everything absolutely Gone. Now, I'm gonna show you some more navigation. If I swipe up, I'm gonna enter the up drawer. If I click here, search, search, 
absolutely flawless. All right, let's try to search for VO, that's for volume, for example. So VOL, volume, all right, you can see Revolut for some reason. All right, okay, one more time. Volume, volume monitor, just gonna open volume here. One more time, yep. And one more time will get me the very same setting, absolutely one and the same behavior. So this is the up drawer once more. Okay, just going left, right will pretty much give me the same. And guys, if I now am to show you the recent menu, one gesture from here will get me my recent menu. Everything absolutely flawless. We can also try to do a search here. It will work the same way. One more time, recent menu, closing all to make sure that all the applications are now removed. See, only this one here is locked. So I'm just gonna press unlock, close, and now also no recently apps used on the S24 Ultra, which will give me now the chance to start testing the animations by opening some folders. So let's start with the first one. That's the social folder. We can see in this scenario how the blur is gradually applied. One more time. And now guys, I'm gonna start opening these applications. Open Telegram. All right, I'm gonna go outside to show you this animation, the way the wallpaper zooms in and out. One more time, all right. Scrolling, yeah, now exiting. Okay, absolutely the same. One more time, I'm gonna open the Facebook this time. All right, open Facebook, going outside. One more time. Now let's open the Instagram. All right, Instagram. This is a bit more tricky the moment we go to the left. Why? Because we are invoking here this viewfinder. And the moment we, by the way, go and open the viewfinder, the screen refresh rate drops to 60 hertz. So this is pretty much how it works. So one more time, I'm just gonna go inside the social folder. I'm just gonna click Instagram. I'm gonna close this one. I'm gonna try to scroll down a bit. And now, all right, you can see absolutely flawless on all of the phones. Let's just go one more time and now open X beta. All right, a bit faster on this 24 Ultra. Scroll down, scroll down, and now exit on both phones. Pretty much the same behavior. Maybe just a tiny stutter once in a while, but overall, very, very nice results. This is really how a flagship phone should perform. Now, let's try to open the camera. All right, I'm gonna put here the front camera so that you're able to see exactly one and the same thing one more time. Front camera, okay, I'm gonna go to video, all right. I'm gonna go to photo, okay, exit, one more time, open, right? There has been times when even this animation wasn't great on Samsung S phones. Now I do believe that Samsung were able to fix this, all right? Back camera, front camera, all right, and just going outside. And now I wanna do a lens switch test. I am in the video mode using FHD 60 on both phones. Why? Well, because here, when I'm using FHD 60, guys, I am getting this nice animation on the S23 Ultra, right? And that's not the same when I'm using UHD 60. You're gonna see later why. So now this is ultra wide to one, all right? Ultra wide, I'm gonna go to three, okay? And then here, guys, I'm gonna do ultra wide to 10, all right? So ultra wide, 10, okay, ultra wide, 10. You can see that the S24 Ultra appears to be that quicker than the S23 Ultra. Now I'm gonna go to 1X, so let's do 1X, 3X, 1X, 3X, okay, 1X and 3X is circa the same. And one more time, ultra wide and then 10X. So you can just see from this test here that the S24 Ultra is able to pull this trick faster than the S23 Ultra. And now, what I told you, if I go and select the UHD 60, guys, uh, you can see that I am losing this animation. Why? Because you are actually not able to switch the different lenses when you're using UHD 60 and shooting video with the S23 Ultra. So sadly, Samsung don't want to enable this. This could be also they believe that the S23 Ultra is not able to handle this. Now, let's go back to the main camera. Let's try to do a shutter test, okay? And you can just see that the S24 Ultra is actually very fast. You can check here on the way it saves the pictures. And I'm gonna try to do the same with the S23 Ultra, all right? With the same head, same finger. And you can see that it probably just lags a bit, but overall still great performance from this bow folds. Now let's try to test some widgets. I'm gonna start with the weather, all right? Weather, a standard one, okay. Very hot outside. So now let's try and open my favorite Spotify widgets, the one that was probably will never get fixed. Okay, Spotify, going outside. Spotify one more time. Just try to go 
to home. Okay, let's try to browse a bit. Okay, this is the S23 Ultra. Okay, very nice by the way. One more time, S22, see, <laughs> this arrow closure guys, never gonna get fixed. And Spotify widget now on the S24 Ultra. You can see how smooth all these animations are. All right, one more time, let's just try to go to home here, try to browse, go, oh, let's see again, like, yes, this abrupt closure just kills me off. No, let me just try to close everything again, and this time I want to show you the edge panels, so edge panels here on the S23, edge panels on the S24, okay, one more time, edge panels, okay. Yep, even this animation used to be stuttery, but not any longer. Now I'm gonna choose this combination here to open the split window. So we have two applications, we have Telegram and X, and you know what we can do, we can swipe them around like this, or we can decide to minimize or maximize one of the other. So in this case, we have Telegram on the S24 Ultra and Twitter, or X on the S23. And we can take the application from here and try to put it into a pop-up window. But by the way, this works quite nice on the S24 Ultra, again, just because the edges uh, are almost not existent. If we try to do this here, sometimes, you know, I'll do this sometimes because of the curvy edges and of course of this well, very well pronounced lid on protector, I'm not able to do so, but you get the idea, works flawlessly on all those phones without any issues. Now let's check the always on display. So this is it, all right. I'm gonna double tap to invoke the lock screen. All right, now let's leave it like this. Okay. Now let's leave it like this. All right, we're back to the always in display and now I can demonstrate the fingerprint read scanner which I believe is kind of almost the same, absolutely the same sometimes, maybe a bit faster on the S24 Ultra, all right, just like this. This is gonna be always on display. I'm gonna double tap to lock the screen. This is the lock screen and now entering the phone, all right, tiny bit faster on the S23 Ultra. And now guys, something that I promised to also do in this video, I am going to run the Geekbench 6. But first things first, I wanna show you something. We have 29.3 Celsius inside. So today it's very hot and I don't have the AC on. So both phones are with cases. I wanna also take a temp reading before we start a test. It's 38.4 for the S23 Ultra and 40 already for the S24 Ultra. So I don't expect to get any good results. We all know how the good results work on benchmarks, right? Yeah, you have to cool down your phone, you have to use 24 Celsius, and there are these other tricks here on this channel. No tricks, it is the real story. It's no gold plating, no glorified. It is really 29.3 at home. It is rather hot, but I wanted to have it like this. So let's just see which phone is going to finish first, and then of course analyze the scores attempt. Then I'm gonna do also a 3D mark. Let's fast forward. So the S24 Ultra was just a tiny bit faster. Remain on 40.5. Okay, yeah, 40 to 5, this very same results also on the S23 Ultra. Now, again, like Samsung phones never stop to amaze me. It could be because of the fact that the phone started with 38 Celsius that it got a higher single core score overall. 1911 here versus 1788. Multi core score here, of course, better. Now, what amazes me is the fact that those results are even not the highest one that I was scoring on these phones. For example, on the 27th of March, I got 2,223, right? Or let's say with the S23 Ultra, I almost got results that were very close to 2,000, right? But again, guys, the benchmarks are, yeah, take whatever you want from them, but just don't always take them for serious. I want to start the 3D mark, so I'm gonna run the Wildlife Extreme just to see what is gonna happen. Just make sure that I have the same, and I'm gonna run it on screen, all right? So let me just start it. This is gonna be the S23 Ultra here, S24 Ultra here. Let's just see which phone is gonna finish first and then we analyze the scores and the data. And both phones finish almost at the same time. 42.4 for the S24 Ultra, 41.2. It is almost the same, neglectable differences. 4136 on the S24 Ultra with an average frame rate of almost 25 frames, 20 frames on the S23 Ultra and 3300. 
So this is pretty much what we got. And what is interesting to see is here the performance monitoring. So apparently we only lost 1% of the battery here and here as well. And we only raised the temperature with one degree, but the S23 Ultra still operates at a lower level. The frame rate from 12 to 26, from 16 to 34. So this is pretty much what is to be observed. Now guys, Always when you upgrade your phone with a new software, you know about Good Guardians. I made ton of videos about Good Guardians. Also, guys, before Good Guardians, it was the Galaxy Labs. It is always a good idea to run the Galaxy App Booster after every update to make sure that your phone runs a tiny bit smoother. You can see I have a lot of applications on both phones, and this is circa the reality with the June update. What we expect for July is really a camera update. At least this is what a lot of people are writing on the internet, and we always know how things go goals with uh, writings on the internet sometimes they might come as true sometimes not but the general observation is that the S23 Ultra now is leading its prime the S24 Ultra is also working quite nicely well we are only hoping that Samsung can address some of the issues that we have with the camera or well, let's say further improve on this thank you so much for watching guys if there is anything else you want to see with the S23 and the S24 Ultra and of course the Vivo X100 Ultra the good stuff is still yet to come let me know down below in the comments or join our VST chat in Telegram thanks so much for watching stay safe VST over and bye